Hey, everyone, Teo here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can sync the artworks that you have created with the Concepts app to the cloud and across different devices. And I will cover Apple, Windows, and Android devices. For this tutorial, we will be talking about file syncing on the same platform from Apple to Apple devices, Windows to Windows devices, and Android to Android devices. So if you want to sync your artwork across different OS, for example, from Apple to Android, Windows to Android, you will have to find some other software that can help you do so. Okay, let's start with Apple to Apple device syncing. On your iPad or iPhone, go to the gallery page first and make sure you see the sidebar with all the folders. For file syncing to work on the iPad, you have to enable iCloud Drive, which is the online cloud storage service that Apple provides. So I have already enabled this and I have saved all my artworks to iCloud Drive. Now, if you have not enabled iCloud Drive, then chances are your artworks are actually saved on your iPad on internal storage. So let me just drag this folder, for example, to internal storage. Okay, so this folder now is in internal storage. And if I lose my tablet, this folder and all the artworks will be gone. So what I want you to do now is very simple. Go into settings, tap on your name, go to iCloud and look for saved to iCloud, see all and scroll down and you can see the list of apps that are backed up to the iCloud folder. And here we have concepts. So if this is not enabled, obviously enable this so that concepts can use the iCloud drive. After you have enabled iCloud drive, the next thing to do is to move all your files and folders to the iCloud drive. So under on this iPad, where your files are, in your iPad or on your iPad, just tap and drag the folder and move it to iCloud Drive. And this will move everything over and you can see under iCloud Drive on my phone, that folder appears. So now if you want to create a file on the tablet, uh, let's call this iPad. And this file is saved under the urban sketching folder. So if we take a look at this urban sketching folder, you can see the file or the artwork has been synced over to iCloud Drive. If you delete this file, it will go into the recycle bin and stay there for 30 days. And that's pretty much all there is to file syncing on Apple devices. And now let's talk about file syncing across Android devices. And there are actually many ways you can sync files across Android devices because there are many file syncing apps that are available to you from the Google Play Store. So to keep this video short, I'm going to suggest or recommend two apps that you can consider using. The first app is called Sync Thing, which will sync your files from one Android device to another Android device. The second app is called Folder Sync Pro, which will sync your files to Google Drive and from Google Drive sync it to another Android device. So what's the difference between the backup option provided within Concepts versus the two methods that I'm about to show you? Well, backup within Concepts is not a file sync operation. This is a backup and sometimes it doesn't work for some reason. And also when you delete a file from your Concepts app, that file is actually not deleted from Google Drive because this is not a file sync. So that's the main difference. Let's start with same thing first. And this is an open source app, so it's free. So install it first. And once installed, you have to give the app permissions. Let's grant permission for the app to use the file storage for battery optimization. 
location permission, notification permission. You have to do the same on the other Android device as well. And now you have to let both devices discover each other. So tap here under the options, show device ID. A QR code will appear. So on the other device, just add the device. And press here to scan the QR code. Okay, so now the phone knows that it can sync from the tablet. Let's name the device, or tap S9. Before you can sync your files, make sure to move all your files and artworks and folders from the app storage to internal storage. Artworks that are saved within the app itself cannot be synced. Internal storage is basically your file management system where you can see your folders, your files, and you can copy, paste, do whatever you like. And under folder is where you should select the folder you want to sync. So I'm going to call the folder concepts and under directory, you should go look for the concepts folder, which is going to be inside the documents folder by default. And I'm going to select that and check. Enable this concepts folder for sharing. After you are done or if you have made any changes, just tap on the tick to save the settings. Next, on your other device, go to the options, web GUI. Here it says that another device is looking to connect. So you just add that device. And that device is actually the phone that I used to scan the QR code of the tablet. So let's call it the S25U phone. So now it says that the phone wants to share a folder, the concepts folder to the tablet. So let's add, you can name the folder label as concepts and under folder path, that tilde sign actually represents the internal storage path and the concepts folder is actually not in the correct place. At least on this tablet, the concepts folder or my concepts folder is actually under documents concepts and save. After you have done all that, syncing should start automatically. And now you can see this tablet is synced to the phone and this phone is synced to the tablet. So let's check to see if the files are actually there. We'll go into the file browser, internal storage, under documents under concepts and I can see seven folders here and also seven folders here. And it seems like all the files are synced across these two devices. And when I open concepts, I can also see all the folders are synced and they are under internal storage. All right, let's open this file and have a look. And this was actually sketched on my phone. So now it's synced over to the tablet and I can view it on the tablet and looks great on a big screen. If you delete a file, it should go to the recently deleted folder and should stay there for 30 days. So now if you lose your tablet, all your files are still available from your phone. And if you lose your phone, all your artworks are still available on the tablet. Next, we'll talk about folder sync or Folder Sync Pro, which is US $10 if I remember correctly. And this can work with Google Drive for syncing. So let's install this. By the way, if you use Dropbox, you can use this other app called DropSync for file syncing. And I'm going to link a tutorial for Dropbox users in the video description below. So after installing Folder Sync, you have to give permissions to the app. So just give the app all these permissions so that you can work properly. So all these are now green. And now you can add your Google account to this app so that file syncing can work. Sign into your Google account. Right, I'm done setting all the settings and permissions for the phone and now let's do it for the tablet. And obviously you can use two tablets or two phones uh, as long as they are both running Android. Next, we have to set up a folder pad to choose the folders that you want for syncing. Let's call the folder concepts and choose two-way sync. If you scroll down the page here, you will see the storage location and it says SD card, but it actually means internal storage. I'm not sure why it says SD card. So let's select a folder. 
let's navigate to the concepts folder on this phone and select that next we will go to the folder on google drive so now i'm in google drive i'm going to select concepts and i'm going to select this folder called s9 ultra because this was used for testing earlier so let's select s9 ultra which is an empty folder and you can hit save under scheduling you may want to create a daily schedule for syncing so let's create a daily schedule save this will sync every 12 hours and under sync option you may want to sync deletions and they will warn you about deletion so if you delete a file from the tablet for example the file will be deleted from google drive and you will not be able to access that file from your other tablet which is basically how syncing works so let's accept but when you delete a file uh, don't worry it's not permanently gone it will go into the recycle bin and stay there for 30 days the recycle bin in google drive and now on the tablet i'm going to create a folder pair for syncing as well so just go through the same process so under internal storage choose the folder where the concepts files are and it should be in documents concepts select and under google drive choose the folder that you want to sync to so that would be concepts s9 ultra folder which is the empty folder that i selected on the phone earlier so same thing set up the scheduling and for sync options sync deletions and one thing i almost forgot is this enable instant sync so that whenever you make changes the file is synced automatically instantly and now we can start syncing so let me just press the manual sync button here and this is the s9 ultra folder which is currently empty and soon it will be populated with all the files from the tablet so once i press that button you can see the empty folder has been populated with all the files and folders from the tablet so this is actually the google drive app showing you all the latest files and now on the phone i can access all the files from my tablet and from my tablet i can access all the files from my phone so let's test to see if folder sync is working properly so let me just open this notes folder create a new uh, drawing and let's say this is a note from tablet and i'm going to close this so in theory this should upload to google drive and it should sync to the phone so let's go to notes s25u and yep it's here if you do not see your folders or files synced properly chances are you may have set up the wrong path when you entered the settings so with folder sync you will have your files on your tablet on google drive and also on your other device so you essentially have two backups for file syncing to work on windows you need microsoft onedrive and if you do not have microsoft onedrive i highly recommend you get microsoft onedrive because onedrive can back up your whole computer and you get one terabyte of online storage after you have signed into microsoft onedrive the software will actually make a copy of your home directory online so all these folders and the desktop documents pictures music downloads uh, all of that will be copied online and the concepts folder is actually under documents so these are all my artworks that were created with concepts on windows on your other windows device you should sign into microsoft onedrive as well and after you sign in all the artworks will be synced to that device and when you open concepts all your artworks will be there so file syncing with microsoft onedrive is quite straightforward 
So now if you delete any file, it will go into the recently deleted folder. So you can restore that file from there or you can find that file from the recycle bin online and that file will stay in the recycle bin online for 30 days. So if you make any changes to your artworks, they will sync instantly. So file syncing with Microsoft OneDrive is quite straightforward. If you make any updates or changes to your files or artworks, they will sync instantly. And if you delete a file, they will go into the recently deleted folder. So you can restore that file from that folder or you can go online to Microsoft OneDrive and look for that file in the recycle bin and the file will stay there for 30 days.